New at four, more than 100 sea lions died this year after an unusual event along the West Coast. Researchers were able to save a handful of pumps, pups who were near death, and now two of them are thriving at their new home at the Georgia Aquarium. This is Jupiter, a one-year-old happy and healthy California sea lion. Just six months ago, he was near death after a higher-than-normal die-off along the California coast. More than 200 sea lions stranded on shore, most of them calves. So they wander up onto the beaches, they wander into bars, they wander into communities. Representatives from the Georgia Aquarium went to California and helped teams at the Marine Mammal Center rehabilitate those who stranded. They then marked them and released them back into the wild, but many stranded again. If you have repeat offenders, then what happens is they are deemed non-releasable. Yes, federal regulations state animals who strand two or three times cannot be released into the wild because it's unlikely they will survive. Jupiter is one of two pups rescued by the Georgia Aquarium. The second, Neptune, is also thriving and basking in the attention they're getting at the Georgia Aquarium. Did you get arrested? Arrested? Yeah. Yes, yeah. he did. Their mentor so, is 10-year-old Diego, who you. stranded several times as a pup and was found under a police car. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Diego and the rest of the sea lions are preparing for a new exhibit and show at the Georgia Aquarium. The venue is under construction right now and will teach people the struggles these animals have out there in the wild. For every success, there was two or three that didn't actually make it. Jupiter and Neptune got their names in a public contest and we revealed them exclusively to you on Channel 2 Action News this morning. You can see them, Diego, who I absolutely love. He's so cool and the other sea lions when the exhibit opens in the spring.